So today I want to discuss and highlight some of the awards from a film festival that goes under the radar a lot of the time. It's the San Sebastian International Film Festival based in the Spanish city of Donacita San Sebastian. It's located in the Basque Country just shy of somewhere that I've actually been, Belbeo. This year's 16th edition began on the 17th of September and culminated on the 25th and I want to talk about the awards controversies and of course the films. Before we start if you haven't already then please do subscribe to my channel if you are interested in all kinds of film content mainly independent types of films and of course if you did happen to enjoy this then please hit that like button cheers while Cannes Film Festival and Venice are applauded for their beautiful locations I do feel like the San Sebastian should be in that list as well although quite a conflicted region in Spain particularly in the eyes of the Catalonians I found it to be quite beautiful culturally vast and quite apparently very Spanish and I found that out the hard way when I did not finish my so if you didn't know, San Sebastian, like many other film festivals, has its own unique awards where the grand jury hand out and decide shell awards, ranging from silver to gold. So why are they shells? I literally couldn't find anything I have no idea if you do know then please leave it in the comments below so the golden shell is the top prize at the festival and yes obviously this is for best picture. Then there are Silver Shell Awards, Best Director, Best Leading Performance and Best Supporting, a system that is used in most film festivals just like the Oscars. Only I do slightly prefer the fact that you know which award is best based on the material and not where you're placed in terms of the HBO show's running time. Other awards for more technical achievements include a jury prize, a cinematography and best screenplay. And of course you have your honorary awards such as the Donacita and Dinamuria, which are essentially awarded for being awesome. Some absolutely incredible people have been given this award and the Donna Cita this year was given to the extremely talented Marion Coulthard and someone who has done so much not just for mainstream cinema but the independent circuit as well and that is the legendary Johnny Depp. And do you know what? Despite the fact that the decision was deemed controversial by some filmmakers and others that I won't be naming. Good on the jury for recognising his contribution to cinema as basically one of the non-sellouts and someone that chases good stories instead of always getting a CGI paycheck. And yeah, let's not talk about the Lone Ranger or anything else. I mean, nobody's perfect, right? Oh, and yeah, let's not forget Marion's contribution to French cinema. It can't be ignored. I think she's put it back on the map in recent years. Not since its glory days of the John Luke Goddard new wave era of the 60s. On to the official FIPF awards. And Claire Mathon wins it for cinematography on French cinema film Undercover. I can't pronounce its French name, so I'm just going to name it in English. The film is apparently worth the watch, especially if you like like thrillers about a mole that goes undercover to demonstrate the existence of a drug trafficking due to a high-ranking corrupt police officer. And I did guess it back in my TIFF 2021 videos, Benediction will be highly received and so it's fantastic British screenplay writer and of course director Terence Davis. It won jury prize for best screenplay, Benediction is worth a watch for all of you history buffs. Based on the poetic war hero that served in the world war since returning home, historically voiced his opinion against the government's continuation in the war. It's got a fascinating and complex screenplay exploring themes of religion, literacy and homosexuality and I think that's why Terence has won it. I'm a little bit confused about this next one. The first Silver Shell Award for supporting performance was given to the cast of Who's Stopping Us. I'm not really sure if I agree with that really. I mean I'm all about supporting new ideas but to be honest I think if this award could be given out to multiple people then they could allow it in other award galas like for example, Goodfellas should have won it for all of them in 1990 or American Hustle in 2013. But nonetheless, the Spanish film is highlighted, so it should be worth a watch and it's showcased at Sebastian. Other Silver Shell Awards were given to Jessica Chastain for her leading performance in The Eyes of Tammy Faye, an American film about Faye in the 70s and 80s and her infamous tale of redemption. Basically how she was a TV personality, singer and celebrity and fell into the scandals of financial problems. Chastain just looks un recognizable in this one. I mean, I had to double take to just notice her. It's absolutely incredible. Flora Ophelia Hoffman also picked up the leading performance, which again is strange that they both picked up the best 
leading performance. I kind of feel like they should change the best part to just outstanding leading performance or performances. So if they are going to hand out multiple ones, it kind of just defeats the purpose of the whole best part, really. But that's just my opinion, and I do love Danish cinema, so I have to eventually watch this one. Directed and written by the amazing Taya Lindenberg. As in Heaven is based in the 1800s by a girl with aspirations and hopes about one day attending school. And of course, Taya was awarded the final silver shell for her directing. She's actually quite well known for her comedy, so her work in this one would be really interesting. And of course, the big daddy, the golden shell, was awarded to Alina Georgie and her Romanian drama that's took Sebastian by storm and that's Blue Moon, which it kind of follows similar themes to As in Heaven. It's about an artistic woman desperate to escape the confines of her dysfunctional family. Apparently it's a psychological journey. So just quickly, other awards that should be mentioned are the New Directors Award. I think this is a really important one that highlights the works of upcoming directors and this year it was awarded to Lena Lashin or Laskin for her unwanted film. She's a Russian filmmaker so maybe she is one to follow in the future. So those are the main awards. Awards. If you want to look out for other awards and highlights, I will leave a link in the description below to the website. There are a lot of trends that I'm picking up on this year at a lot of these indie film festivals and I look forward to seeing if it kind of comes to fruition and basically culminates at the Oscars. It's just about seeing what the next one is really. And before I go, I just basically want to say that I am doing a review video on Minamata. It's Johnny Depp's new indie film that is potentially not getting the publicity it deserves for whatever reason. You know, this review will happen and it will be coming soon so stay tuned and like and subscribe for that one and on that note take care everybody